everybody, I'm back with another badass video on this holiday weekend. Is this a holiday weekend, Jordan? This is the holiday weekend. Yeah. yeah, Christmas is Monday, right? Yeah. I'm bringing you a goddamn Christmas video. How's that sound? It's gonna be a Christmas video today, and it's brought to you by jack plates. All sorts of jack plates. We're gonna do some jack plate maintenance. We're gonna talk a little bit about some things you should be taking care of on your jack plates and just paying attention to. Um, and some other things, more reasons why you should have a leash, again. Um, and I'm not promoting the leash, but yes, I am promoting the leash because I want you people to stay alive. But basically, I'm just going to talk to you today about jack plates, and we've kind of figured this out. This is like a team talk tech tip type thing. There's a lot of tip, tip, boop, tip, 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 <whistles> going on. But yeah, that's what we got going on. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to start off by just kind of introducing some jack plates we're going to look at. Some we're not going to look at. Okay, and then I'm going to go to physically go to the bench. We're going to go to a boat. We're going to see some stuff that's loose or not working, or maybe some stuff that you should be maintaining. And we'll get some in-depth video so you can really see some of these areas that you should be paying attention to, all right? So we're gonna look at the Atlas. Behind me, you can see this Skeeter with this SHO with an Atlas jack plate on it. Now, I'm not talking bad about any of these brands. This is just more like a maintenance style video, things you should be paying attention to. Um, and the reason why we're doing this video is because we did have some requests about some jack plate things, had some questions. I had a lot of emails about transom savers, had a lot of emails about going down, and guys, I'm telling you what, you can put any style transom saver you want on that right there. Nothing replicates the water when that thing's on plane and the thing's fully trimmed out and that thing's going like this. Have you ever seen one when it goes down the river? I mean, it's crazy. It's, uh, it's out of control. Everything is trying to go opposite direction of where the direction you want it to go. And that's kind of why we brought this video up. We just want to be able to inform you guys about the jack plate maintenance and what you can do to just maintain stuff and to make sure that things are safe and secure. So we're gonna go over to these boats over here. We're gonna get a look at this boat behind us. Um, this boat didn't come in for this, but it's something that we noticed when it was here. And we'll just show you simply that. And then we're gonna get over to the bench and we're actually gonna look at a fixed plate too. We're gonna look at a fixed plate in some areas that you can take care of that. So it's not just hydraulic today, guys. It's hydraulic and fixed plates and some adjustable stuff. So let's go take a look at this boat over here. We're gonna go do that right now. Here we go. All right, so we're standing here in front of this Skeeter Yamaha SHO powered with the Atlas plate. Um, and I, I got, I'll go into more depth and you'll get a better shot after we get done here, but we're basically talking about separation of transom or separation of jack plate. And that's the box to the plate. And it comes factory like this, guys. It's not like he added this. This is factory, not obviously the pole, but there's, there's, a, there's a separation piece here and you'll see it when we get the camera up here. And it's literally positive to the plate here and positive to the box there, if that makes any sense or not. So the plate is sticking out on the top and the box is sticking out on the bottom. So that tells you that the physical jack plate, which you'll see on the bench over here minus the box, is twisted. So the plate itself is twisted on the box because these bolts are just getting loose. They're getting stretched just over time. And I do this a little bit on a close up too, but if you just imagine this going down the river, right? So the first thing we're, say, we're taking notice here of on this Atlas, and it's not just Atlas jack plates, it's almost every jack plate that runs a spacer to the plate. You see the separation that's right here? This separation that I'm pointing at right here, and it's here. You can't really see it probably from your angle. I don't know if you can, but I'm gonna kinda come in front of the camera here. Down here, can you hear that? So this part of this plate is positive to this part, and up here, this portion here is positive to this. So the plate is physically twisted and it's loose. And if you can see this, I don't know if you're able to see, can you see that crunching there? And if you, I don't know if you can see the engine when I do this. The engine itself is starting to wobble, starting to go forward and back. These bolts right here are crucial. They're very crucial, they're tightened. You can tighten them and you can check them. And that's super easy to do guys. It's all, it's super simple. Wrench on the front, wrench on the back, get it tightened up. If you tighten it and then a month later, a week later, check it again and it's loose again, you gotta get new bolts for this stuff, guys. And this is all this stuff. While you're here, you can check your transom bolts. These look good. Um, but this is gonna be, these are becoming a big issue. And I think it has to do, nothing against all the companies that make shallow water anchors, is it's actually starting to put some tension and some torque on this. And it's negative to positive torque when these are bouncing down the river. So this is a big issue. It's a big issue and we got, a, we got a plate actually separated that we'll show you. So this is our biggest issue. If you have an Atlas or you have a box to hydraulic plate, make sure you're checking this gap right here. There's a lot of this pulling. There's a lot of this 
pulling. So that is why it's so crucial that you check those bolts. You check the bolts and maintain the bolts, check your slides, make sure things are smooth. When things aren't working correctly or smooth or responding correctly, something's going on. Either your plate could be twisted, you could have a twist to your plate, which is slowing it down, maybe water in the motor, or even like we're seeing here, we're seeing some separation of the plate. I mean, it's starting to pull apart. I mean, that's just all bad because that's just gonna keep growing and when that breaks or the bottoms break, this girl's coming in there and that ain't gonna be good. Um, so that's just, that's just like step one. Um, step two on this is definitely checking your slides. On an Atlas, there's no grease, it's not serviceable. Um, this slide plate right here, these slides, you can see they're starting to get some back wear. They're starting to get some wear back in here. You might not be able to see that through there, but we'll get a better look at this. And you can start to see the plastic just starting to build up up here in the, comp the composite material. Atlas will sell you this. They will sell you this, and it's real simple to do. It's not hard to do at all. You got, but I mean, you probably want to take it to your service shop, but you got to pull the motor, and you got to pull the pins, and get that off of there, and this plate will slide right out. It's not that big of a job to do but it's definitely one of those deals that starts to start walking too, starts to flop forward and back. It's all positive, negative to when this is doing positive. You can see how this is a chain of chain of occurrences here that's just gonna lead to transom failure, gonna lead to bolt fail, failure. It's just gonna lead to all this stuff back here coming apart. I guarantee you this thing's back here going like this. Just look at what's going on there. Just look at what's going on. If, I mean, if none of that makes sense to you, then something's wrong. You'll really get to see it in depth over on the bench here. So we'll get you over there. All right, we're here over on the bench now. We're going to look at it. So this is a 10 inch plate. Okay, it's a 10 inch plate. We have removed the box. So the part that goes to the transom would be here. Um, this is removed because the boat needed to go off to get some uh, hull work done. But if you just physically look at this plate right here, okay, we're physically just staring at this. What are you seeing? And what I'm going to show you is, here goes my screwdriver, but what I'm going to show you here is, is you see this here, I don't know if you can see that really good, how that looks like shiny metal, and it's actually starting to be porous um, up in here. All this right in here, there's literally, that's metal. That's metal piled up in there from just it vibrating. So this is the same thing that was happening over there, you're just able to see what's going on. And it's these same four bolts that I was talking about over there. These are the ones that you got to maintain right here, people. You've got to check these ones right here. By checking these bolts will simply prevent any of this stuff going on. So essentially, these bolts that came off of this one should be replaced because they are stretched and I don't, they're, they're obviously weaker than they were from the beginning in factory. Looking at this, even just looking here, look at the washer. That's the washer that's on there. Look at how thin it is and look at it, it's concave. Look at this one. Can you see, I don't know, can you see that? See how concave that is? That tells you that things are starting to move and starting to groove and go the wrong way. So this is a bolt that we'll probably, we will call and talk to Atlas about. Now we've never physically replaced them on these. We've just continued to tighten them. And this is a, this is one of them that I, it's gotten to a point where I'm done tightening and it's just gonna be time to fix it. And we'll get, we'll make sure, I, I know you can call Atlas. I know they'll take care of you. They're a great company. t and is a great company. They're gonna take care of you. But this is what I'm talking about, people. These bolts right here, they're four of them. Get on them with your wrenches. Go in your garage right when they're done with this video and just give them a check. Make sure things are tight. Because this can lead to the same reason why we talk about the leash. You can only imagine what's gonna happen when the tops break and we're kinda hanging on by the bottoms or the bottoms break and we're hanging on by the tops. It's only a matter of time, right? Rough water, anything you get into, you hit something, it doesn't matter. That it, these are great bolts. It's a great jack plate. There's nothing wrong with the jack plate. It's just a physical thing of maintenance. And you can't rely on these companies to sell you a product and then for us as anglers or you guys as anglers or consumers not to maintain and check some of this stuff. And that's why we're doing this video. We want you to get out there and start maintaining and checking and we're just trying to make it easier on you. Um, so then we look at the slides here. And this one is really grooved. I don't know, can you hear that? Let me do that on the front. You hear that? Nothing. That one is really grooved up in the back. So this one would need to get separated here. So you take this simply apart, take all this apart. We'd take this back piece. We'd slide this out. These are replaceable. You can get these from Atlas. You can replace them. You're only ensuring longevity and quality of product because people get irritated that their jack plates slow down. Their jack plates run up and down crooked. It's the same with bobs. Bobs, everybody that has a bobs once in a while, you hit it down and it goes wampus on you, kind of gets crooked or it'll start to chop and then it'll work its way down, same thing on the way up, it'll engine will rock, just had one in here, take it apart, took it apart, 
clean up all the old dry grease that's in there, check the slides that are in there, make sure all that stuff is clean and good. And then when you're putting it back together, you'll notice on the bobs it's got a threaded rod that has two nuts on the side. That's literally tensioning things. It's, it's squaring the, the product back up. And on that one, you literally, that one was rubbing against on the, on the uh, hydraulics on that one. It was literally rubbing against there, so that plate was cockeyed on the transom. It was crooked on the transom, so we were able to refix that. And those are just small things. So you go to your jack plates, check all the bolts. Check all of these bolts that are there. Check anything you can. Check these bolts. Don't over torque them. Okay, don't over torque them. I don't know the torque specs, so I'm not gonna give you one on this, but maintain tension, maintain tightness, make sure things aren't loose. Traveling as much as some of these guys do as pros or not pros, um, making sure that you're just, I don't care if you're just going out to the lake and you're on a, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. You need to check this stuff, okay? Maintenance is a big thing. If you don't feel confident doing it, take it to your service shop. Take it to your service shop to say, hey, I need you to check my transom bolts. I need you to check my jack plate bolts. And when I say my jack plate bolts, not just the ones that bolt to the engine. I want you to check all the bolts, the box, the plate. I want you to check the connecting bolts, the pivot bolts. I want you to check everything. If there's maintenance that needs to be done, let me know. Because I know TNH sells the stuff. And that's kind of what this video is about. It's more about maintenance and consistency. You, the consumer, need to kind of be doing because you can't expect Atlas to be 100% perfect if we're not living up to our aspects and living up to what we do outside of that. And I'm not saying me as the wrench, I'm saying you guys as the owners. You just go out there and check it, super simple. I mean, if I'm traveling across the country, I'm getting there, I'm probably gonna check my bolts. No matter what transom saver I'm using, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're using a DD26 or you're using one to the trailer, it doesn't matter, okay? It really doesn't matter because you can be doing a lot of things. You can be, like I said, the river's worse than the road. Trust me, the lake, the water is worse than the road. I can almost guarantee it. So that's kind of our video, our breakdown. I'm sorry I didn't have a bobs for you here. We just actually did that service work, but the bobs is real simple too. You know, you go to trim it up and it goes clunk and starts to walk its way up. You've got some issues there. I'm just, probably that plate's not square anymore. Take it to your service shop. Have them take the motor off. Take the back off and the simple as just this comes off. Slides up, comes out of there. Clean all that up. Make sure that everything is tight. The physical jack plate is square on the transom. Nothing is moved. Transom doesn't have egged out holes. Things are weird. You know, there's usually something going on there too. So make sure you're just getting all that stuff checked. Safety first. And at the end of the day, a leash isn't gonna hurt you. And no, I'm not getting paid by them. I'm just saying, it's not gonna, buy, it's not gonna hurt you by putting one on, so. There you go. That's kind of our video on jack plate. We do have another one. I think we'll go over and take a look at that. It's a fixed one, but that's your end of your hydraulic maintenance. And it's just a fixed one that, um, it's not hydraulic, but it is adjustable. So we'll go take a look at that, give you some little quick pointers on that, and we'll be out of here. All right, so we're over here with the fixed slide master or an adjustable slide master jack plate. Um, very popular jack plate in the industry. Lots of slide masters out there. There's just a couple quick things. Um, we're always making sure we're maintaining our bolts that are bolting this hanger bracket to transom. And we're always maintaining and checking our bolts that go from transom to jack plate. The things we miss are these simple bolts like here. So on a slide master, if you have one, there's no nuts on the back. It's a threaded plate. Very rarely do you see them coming loose, but it's a simple, just grabbing onto them and just making sure things are tight. And the other thing that is kind of crucial with these slide masters, guys, is that you loosen these up just a little bit and you get on the center bolt here, and this is your adjuster that makes it go up and down. So what you get on there and you just give it a couple cranks up and you, you mark it beforehand. It's super simple to mark. You can take your screwdriver or anything and just scribe a line both sides so you know that it's square and you just run that thing up and it's check, checking the height also. So when we put a level on here, make sure this stuff is the same height. Make sure this physical jack plate hasn't come loose and twisted a little bit. That's all about speed, performance, and safety. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. You just wanna loosen these up a little bit, make sure things are moving up and down, make sure we're scribing lines on both sides so we can put it back to where it was. And then making sure that this center bolt here that's inside here does not have a wobble or a walk to it. If you get that, then you know your jack plate's essentially junk. It's just, you gotta get rid of it. Um, you can replace that bolt, but things have shifted or moved. And on a slide master, pretty difficult to do um, just because they do have these grooves and everything slides with. So the slide master was a great plate. It was used for many years. Very, very, very minimal problems with them. But it's just a simple thing that you can go check. So we're always maintaining our transom to jack plate bolts. We're always maintaining our um, hanger bracket to jack plate bolts. 
but we're never maintaining the middle. And that's what this video is about. So maintain the middle. Don't always just maintain the outside. Make sure we're taking care of what's in between because it's all about safety and performance also. So that's it. That's all I got for you on jack plates. This was just a quick rundown. Hope this helps you guys. I want you to go out in your garage and just grab onto that and um, make, it a, make it a habit. Make it a habit to check all that stuff. Don't just check the inner and the outer. Check the middle also. Hope, I hope you guys appreciate this. Hope everybody has a great holiday. Hope you're around loved ones and uh, having lots of food and opening presents. Make sure your kids get what they want because they're the most important for sure. Make sure all the kids get what they want. If you know a, a veteran or somebody that needs a dinner, make sure you get them a dinner. If you know a family that needs a little help, give them some support. Doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a dinner, whether it's a pair of shoes, whether it's uh, just a, a set of Legos that the kid maybe could have just to spark a little fire and a child that's never had anything. Make sure you go do that because um, we do as much as we can here with the veterans and with the children of this area and even surrounding stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you. Shout out to my son shipping some shoes to Chicago and taking care of some kids in Chicago. Much appreciated. Huge, huge effort. Um, just just being a good person and taking care of some kids in Chicago that just literally asked for shoes for Christmas. Um, and he sent them over to Chicago, huge deal. Um, props to him and the Holman team up there in Holman doing a shoe drive and getting that out. Um, the really good stuff, really good stuff. And taking care of this, the Cooley region and taking, taking care of all the, I guess the less privileged people, you take for granted your what's on your feet. And there's a lot of kids that want that stuff. So um, just take care of the veterans, take care of the youth, make sure that, the youth, have, the youth have a vision of being successful, um, and the veterans always, you just gotta take care of them. So, holiday season, hope everybody has a great holiday. From Team Marine, me, myself, Jordan, the whole crew here, we appreciate all of you for giving us what you do, the support, the comments, and everything. Do what you do on this holiday. Make sure you're sharing this video, and we appreciate it. As always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I know Santa Claus is just screaming in his sleigh right now. Well, not yet, he might be tuning up a little bit. He's probably tuning it up, you know what I mean? Making sure she's ready to go. Speed, money, no brakes, I'm out. See ya!